What you need to know about new MyCA stablecoin rules. Tanziel Actor last updated, June 26, 2024 at 154 GMT plus 3 2 minute read. On July 1, the highly anticipated markets and crypto assets regulation MyCA will finally come into force, bringing huge change to the landscape of stablecoins and other digital assets within the European Union EU. MyCA represents one of the most comprehensive regulatory frameworks for crypto assets globally, aiming to provide legal certainty, protect investors, and push innovation in the rapidly evolving digital finance space. Recently, Uphold and several other exchanges have made a move to adapt to the regulations by delisting DAI, FRAX, GUST, USP, TEST, and UST. Europe is embarking on an experiment to bring digital assets and crypto market participants within the regulatory perimeter for the first time, said Jason Allegrante, Chief Legal and Compliance Officer at Fireblocks. My CA caps number of transactions. One area that the regulations currently get wrong is stablecoins, highlights Allegrante. Creating standards for issuers and reserves is a good idea, as is closing the market to those issuers or instruments that do not meet minimum standards, adds Lagrante. He explains my CA also introduces caps on the number of stablecoin transactions that can occur within a set period. This will prove to be a major impediment to adoption and a disadvantage to e-based stablecoins if left uncorrected in the next iteration of rules, said Lagrante. What you need to know about the new MyCA stablecoin rules. MyCA defines stablecoins as asset reference tokens arts and electronic money tokens e-money tokens. ARTs are pegged to a basket of assets, such as currencies or commodities, while e-money tokens are linked to a single fiat currency. The regulation sets guidelines on the issuance, operation, and supervision of these tokens, ensuring they maintain a stable value and uphold investor trust. The rules will start applying for stablecoins, ARTs, and e-money tokens on 1 July, and for other tokens and service providers on 30 December. Authorization and Supervision Under my CA, issuers of stablecoins must obtain authorization from a national competent authority within the EU. This authorization process involves stringent requirements. This includes demonstrating sufficient capital reserves, maintaining transparent governance structures, and adhering to robust risk management practices. Issuers are also required to publish a detailed white paper outlining the token's characteristics, rights, and the underlying asset's value. Operational Requirements Stablecoin issuers must also maintain a high level of transparency and accountability. The MyCA mandates regular audits and the publication of reports on the reserve assets backing the stablecoin. These reserve assets must be held in low-risk, liquid investments, ensuring the stability and redeemability of the token. Issuers are also required to implement robust cybersecurity measures to protect user funds and data. Consumer Protection A key focus of MyCA is, of course, consumer protection. The regulation has strict disclosure requirements that make sure that investors are well informed about the nature of the stablecoin and its associated risks. Issuers must come up with a system for handling complaints and resolving disputes. This framework aims to improve investor confidence and produce a safer environment for digital asset transactions. Market Integrity MyCA includes rules to prevent market abuse and ensure fair trading practices. It requires stablecoin issuers to monitor and report suspicious activities promoting transparency and integrity in the market. The regulation also addresses issues related to market manipulation and insider trading, aligning the crypto market more closely with traditional financial markets. Impact on Innovation MyCA introduces rigorous regulatory standards. It also aims to support innovation within the EU's digital finance ecosystem. By providing a legal framework, the regulation encourages responsible development and deployment of stablecoin technologies. Follow us on Google News.